every financial manager needs to do some financial planning for the period to come for that purpose financial manager needs certain assumptions in order to prepare certain performa statements and particularly those performa statements are income statement a balance sheet and a cash flow statement before going into a simple example of financial planning there are certain assumptions let assume that there is a direct relationship between all variables and the sales this means that every variable will be moving in accordance with the movement in sales and there would be no need to acquire external financing let assume that we have a simple income statement with sales of $1000 and cost of $800 and net income of $200 on the balance sheet we have debt and equity each by $250 and assets in total of $500 now with the assumed increase in sales by 20% we have sales grown by $1200 cost grown by $960 and resulting net income grown by $240 so we see that there is a 20% increase in net income and that in absolute value is equal to $40 now we move every variable by 20% let's see on the screen that assets grow from $500 to $600 so there is an overall increase of $100 in the asset side equal increase would be in the liabilities side if we say that an increase by 20% in debt so debt would be equal to $300 in order to equalize the liabilities side with the assets side we would be requiring a $300 in the equity but we have seen that earlier the equity was $250 and there is an increase of $240 in net income so the equity would be $490 but this taking into account would not equalize the balance sheet this means that keeping the debt equal to 20% increase we would be required to pay extra amount as dividend to our shareholders so that our equity would be reporting at $300 this means that there would be a payment of $140 as cash dividend to the shareholders in this way our liabilities side would be equal to the assets side in this particular case we have used dividend as a plug in order to equalize both sides of the balance sheet but we have an other option if we don't want to pay cash dividend rather we we want to re retain it for the future expansion so our equity would be uh, reporting at 490 dollars now what would be the solution the solution is that we have to pay a certain amount of debt in order to remain the liabilities in agreement with the assets side so the amount of 140 would be paid out of the debt in order to keep the debt at 110 dollars in this way we have used the debt as plug in order to equalize the liabilities side with the balance sheet so this was the simple example of financial planning in which we we develop a a constant relationship of all variables in the balance sheet and income statement with the sales but we know that in order to uh, support the increased sale there is a huge amount of investment to be made in fixed assets and networking capital increase in firm's net assets means increase in assets and liabilities and equity as well now 
increase in equity and liabilities is subject to the firm's financial and dividend policy and this financial and dividend policy is required in order to support the growth in finance now how this support would be done in order to uh, in order to support the finance this is typically a managerial decision 